performance wars were heating up on the street, being driven by the success of cars on the drag strip, the manufacturers were limited on the amount of power that the cars could put out. They were limited to a cubic inch displacement, 427 cubic inches. So the Mopar guys debuted their race Hemi in 1964 at 426 cubic inches, and they couldn't expand their engine size past that. For 1965, Chrysler really determined that the one way they could actually get advantage over the competition would be to go even further with their wheelbase modifications. The engineers, the Ram chargers at the factory had figured out if you could move the wheelbase a small amount, an undetectably small amount, it actually gave you better weight transfer. The Dick Landy 65 Dodge was an innovator in that technology. It changed everything, set the stage for the funny cars of today, and was as radical as it got in the mid-1960s. This Landy altered wheelbase Dodge undoubtedly was the most recognized of the full-body drag race cars from the 60s. It not only was an extremely popular car because of Landy's tendency to put the nose way up in the air, this car won 90% of its match races. He went and barnstormed across the East Coast all summer. He was on all the national newspapers on a weekly basis. It was a huge impact on drag racing, what Mr. Landy was doing. His ability to cut a great light, his personality, he was larger than life, and he was the perfect blend for what was happening, especially with the Chrysler guys in the mid-1960s to set their cars apart from the rest. There was just so many things this car did that people have really come to identify it with that 1965 season. This car, the Landy car, still has all of its original sheet metal, all of its original chassis components, and I believe that it is recognized by the experts that this is clearly the most original and most intact of any of the altered wheelbase cars that, that currently exist. We could make this car prettier. In so doing, we would lose some of the authenticity and the originality of the car. And we didn't want to do that. This car is just too great a car the way it is, and we're proud of that.